What does PESCO mean and what does it mean for the future? It essentially establishes a framework of commitments by those 23 signatories uh, to the PESCO, uh, which will eventually then be formalised through a council decision, uh, a set of uh, binding commitments when it comes to their own levels of defence investment and defence cooperation, and above all, I would say, defence cooperation. Uh, it will then uh, establish a mechanism whereby a number of projects, priority or flagship projects, uh, are going to be launched in the coming weeks and months. And essentially this uh, is, it creates the main building blocks and the main framework for what is commonly known as a security and defence union. What does such a union entail? It basically means that uh, Europeans are going to be doing defence research together within a PESCO framework supported uh, by the European Defence Fund. They're going to jointly acquire and develop capabilities and they're going to be jointly using those capabilities through operations. PESCO was originally foreseen uh, as a step change in European defence integration for a group of willing and able member states. The fact that 23 out of 28 member states, and out of those 28, if we exclude the United Kingdom, which is exiting the European Union, and Denmark, which has an opt-out from the Common Security and Defence Policy, the fact that 23 member states have signed up to PESCO does raise the question, is this an excessively inclusive process at the expense of ambition? Now, my answer to that question is that in order to uh, achieve a PESCO, the level of ambition within the commitments established by PESCO have actually not been diluted. Indeed, it comes in some respects as a surprise that so many member states have signed up to PESCO, perhaps on other, in other respects less of a surprise because once you have the uh, feeling that a train is leaving the station, there is a very natural instinct to want to jump upon that train as it's leaving the station. But of course the proof is going to be in the pudding. Are all 23 member states going to actually live up to those commitments, those ambitious commitments that they have signed up to? And this of course is going to be the major challenge uh, in the coming weeks and months.